All right, so a multi-step equation. Um, I love these problems uh, just because you know I know that once students can master these, um, they have such an easier time working through uh, the rest of the courses that we'll be going with. So anytime we see parentheses, you know we want to, especially when we're looking at multi-step equations, we always want to apply um, uh, our order of operations to simplify first until we can get it down to a two-step equation. Once we get it down to a two-step equation with the variables on the same side then we can start solving by using the reverse order of operations. So the first thing I look in the parentheses and I say, all right, can I do anything inside parentheses? Since these are not like terms, I cannot. Um, we do not have any powers or exponents, so therefore I need to apply uh, multiplication. And this is 4 is being multiplied by both these terms, so I need to apply distributive property. So by 4 times through i is going to be 12y minus 4 minus 5y equals negative 11. Now, again, I look at order operations, and I have nothing, but then I go to addition and subtraction. To do addition and subtraction, we could combine the 12y and the negative 5y. I'm going to go an extra step and group them together, um, because I think it makes it easier for students um, to see how I can combine them. Notice how I didn't change the problems. I just rewrote that, but the, the value of each of my terms as I rewrote it is exactly the same. Well, 12y minus 5y is going to be 7y minus 4 equals negative 11. Now, to go ahead and uh, solve for uh, y, I'm going to add 4 to both sides, and I get 7y equals negative 7. Now, I divide. So anyways, here's my two-step equation. Now, I use my reverse order of operations, which is to undo addition and subtraction um, by adding a 4 on both sides. Now, I'm going to un uh, undo multiplication by dividing a 7 on both sides, and I get y equals a negative 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for your multi-step equation. Thanks.